Hello and welcome back to our home renovation. If you haven't seen the first couple of videos, then catch up now. Okay, so coming back for a little update, we're probably about another week on. So Mark was laughing at me because I mentioned that we were stripped out the rooms before and there were so many more levels to come off. So as you can see, we are now a little bit more stripped out. So coming into the hallway and the front bedrooms here, all of the door frames have been removed. The ceiling's off, um, lots of wood come out, skirts are still to come out. All of these doors under whatever they've clad them with are solid wood, so we're hoping we can do something with those. Um, light switches are out. Going through here, the window, the strange window that divided the two rooms has been removed. Um, more stripping going on in here. So we have noticed that there was really bad support put in above openings that have been put in before, so we'll need to look at that. Um, we've got a fireplace here, which I think we are going to replace with a nice little cast iron fireplace or something, make that a feature in the room. And then again, um, probably going to need a steel or some proper support put in here really bad workmanship that has been done obviously years and years ago. So you can see we are now getting stripped right down to the bare bones of the house. Going through to this little middle room here, Mark's obviously been stripping again. There was cladding and tiles and multiple layers to come out. And again, again in the bathroom, most of that all out. Obviously this back area, we took the kitchen out, but this is gonna be getting knocked down and it's gonna become the extension area. You can see in the garden, there's a lot more space now because we have taken down, I say we a lot, when I say we, I mean Mark, I didn't do any of it, but he's taken down loads of bushes. So you can see that garden's a really nice size now. Obviously, as I said before, the garage is now empty. So that also is gonna need a new roof because it's got a massive hole there, which is why everything in it was sodden and wet and moldy and manky and also the new windows. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. Um, we have got the roof work being done next week. And Mark is just about to start taking down the ceilings because as you can see in here, they are very bowed and stripping off all of that paper and stuff is gonna be more work than taking them down and starting again, especially as the loft is full of loads of disgusting stuff that needs to come out also. So this is upstairs in the loft. We do not even know what all of that dust and powder is, but that is our decision for taking the ceilings down because who wants all of that above you? Plus the ceilings are really old and need stripping. It is so much more work than just taking it all out and starting afresh and having a nice clean loft up there. Mark sent me this video and I honestly could not oh, believe how much how much the amount of ceiling and dust and rubbish that came down from there filled the house bless him he spent like three days taking this down and clearing it out but it is all gone now so that's really good um, and we'll get some nice fresh ceilings put up there and we'll have a nice um, insulated and decked out loft which is a nice usable clean space and that will be so much better so here we are, all cleaned out. Mark's cleaned the rooms out. This is as clean as it gets at the moment. Um, you'll see when we go outside, he's had to separate everything. So like the plasterboard, the wood, um, and there's a pile of metal. Mark also got some copper piping and a copper tank down from the loft, which we were fully intending on taking to the scrapyard and cashing in on just to help pay for some other stuff that needs doing in the house. Left the rest of the scrap metal outside for a guy in a van who'd came around the other day with his mum and collected it. He told him he'd leave any more outside, which he did. And we were really disappointed to come back yesterday and find that someone had actually broken in through the bathroom window, kicked the back door out and helped themselves to that copper in the house. When you hear the state of the inside of the roof, this is why we're having it all refelted. I mean, um, it is very old and very holy. So the scaffolding's up now, ready for the roof to be done while we're away. And we're really excited to show you the next stage of our renovation. So join us then. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to follow our renovation journey.